this is uh, this is called God's Grand Design. This is the fourth in our series, Christian Power uh, 201. I want to start by asking you a question. Would you discuss this with your partner or your group members? Uh, how have you typically gone about seeking God's will for a, a significant decision, like choice of a mate, taking a job, what school to attend, you know, those kind of things. Um, talk about that uh, with, uh, what do you think the Christian way is to seek God's direction, okay? All right, so uh, this is about the uh, 11th message and that we, from the book of Romans. And uh, in the first three chapters, uh, Paul was talking about lost people, that we all fall short of God's glory and uh, we need forgiveness. Then in uh, chapters 4 and 5, he talks about the grace of God, that he sent his son to die for us and that there's new life available in Christ. In chapter 6, he talks about if you commit your life to Christ, then you're, you put to death the old life and you're raised with Christ to a new life, uh, so the victorious life with Christ. Then chapter 7, Paul surprises us. He talks about what a wretched man I am. I don't do what I want to do. I do what I don't want to do. So he's talking, he's describing the Christian experience of trying to live as a follower of Christ without the power of the Holy Spirit. It just can't be done. Then in chapter 8, he talks about the ministry of the Holy Spirit. This is the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, that the Spirit living inside of us, us depending on the Spirit, is what we need, everything we need for life and godliness. Now today, we're going to talk about God's grand design. This is Romans 8, uh, verses 28 to 39. Uh, so I want to read uh, this for you. This is a very famous verse, Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things... God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. So in these verses, Paul tells us that God has a purpose. He has a plan for life. And it's right here in these verses. Uh, first, is, it's that we know Christ. He says those he foreknew, he also predestined. And then if you look at verse 30, those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. So God's plan is for us to know Christ, to know his son. And uh, his second purpose is in verse 29, those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. So God's purpose is that we be conformed to the image of of Jesus Christ. We become like Christ. We let the Holy Spirit work in us so that we become more and more like Jesus. And then his third purpose for us is that we share Christ uh, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Uh, so his plan is that Christ is the head of a family, you becoming part of it, and then he wants you to share with other people so they become part of God's family Two. So my final question today is, would you turn to your neighbor or other people in your group and share, how does this help you uh, to understand God's grand design is to know Christ, be conformed to Christ, and share Christ? That's his will for every Christian. Does that help you with decision making? If you know his grand design, I'm suggesting then the individual choices are you have a lot of freedom within that. In other words, which school you attend, you could be in God's grand design at two different schools. Uh, which job you take, you could be knowing Christ, being conformed to Christ, sharing Christ at any number of jobs. Uh, you have freedom for those things. And so if you put more focus on knowing Christ, being conformed, being conformed to Christ and sharing Christ, and not worry so much about your individual decisions, you'll be fine. You're, you're in the freedom God has given you to make choices. All right, guys, have your study. Go through the journal if you're using that. Uh, pray together. Have a great time.